All kids out of the pool for a day. Hey guys, it's Nina from Nina Nailed It, and I'm gonna show you how to paint some flamingos today. Uh, first, we're going to start with a white base, and that's going to blend into a blue gradient. So I'm starting with Sesh Premier Color in Calla Lily, and that's gonna blend into Deco Miami's Male Tears. It's always a good idea to use a polish barrier whenever you're doing a gradient. So first, you wanna start on the makeup sponge, and you want to paint the colors as you'd like them to blend on the nail. When you're ready, pat the sponge on the nail until you're satisfied with the gradient. So today I'm gonna to use two great pinks for my flamingos. First up is Deco Miami's Rosé All Day, and next is Piggy Polishes Far More Than Rubies. Using a small nail art brush, pick up Rosé All Day and paint an S shape, filling out the bottom of the S. Then go in with far more than rubies and create some depth by adding a little shading. Now we're gonna add the details. You can always thin out your brushes by trimming them at the base to ensure that you have super thin lines. So we're gonna begin our flamingos by painting a small triangle as the beak and long thin lines for the legs. You wanna mirror the next flamingo and repeat the steps all the way through. So while you're painting the second flamingo, you can decide how you want to lay out the rest of the manicure. I usually try to vary the composition on each nail just to keep it interesting, but it's kind of the beauty of nail art is it's entirely up to you. So when you're deciding on the composition of your nails, it's always a good idea to remember how the nails will look together, not just one nail on its own. Some people are naturally able to do this. I am not one of those people, so it usually takes me forever to paint my nails. And now we're finally at my favorite part, the sesh beat part. I sort of live for this step because the top coat really makes the design pop and it's seriously so gratifying. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks.